In this video, I'd like to talk about the expanded equation of a circle. And before we look at this specific example problem, let's consider an example of the standard equation for a circle. So let's say that we have x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 4. So you might recognize that this circle has a center at the coordinate 2 comma 3 and it has a radius of 2. Since this standard equation of a circle is equal to the radius squared and so the square root of 4 would be 2 and to find the center remember you ask yourself which x value makes this expression 0 that would be positive 2 so that's the x value of the center and which y value makes this expression 0 and that would be positive 3. So that's one way to determine the center from this equation. Now if we were to expand these binomials here then we could essentially transform this to the expanded equation for a circle. So to expand this, we're just going to multiply these binomials out. Since remember, this is x minus 2 multiplied twice. So we can rewrite it as x minus 2 times x minus 2. And likewise, this is y minus 3 multiplied twice. And when we expand this, we're just going to distribute and multiply everything out. So the x distributes to both terms, same with the minus 2. So we get x squared minus 2x minus 2x, which is minus 4x if we combine it, plus 4. And then here we have the y distributing to both and the minus 3 to both. So we get y squared minus 3y minus 3y, so that's minus 6y. And minus 3 times minus 3 is positive 9. And if we want to put everything on one side of the equation like we have here, then we could subtract 4 on each side and rewrite this as x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 0. So this would be an example of the expanded equation for a circle. And essentially in these example problems, we're going to start with the expanded equation and we'll need to transform it back to the standard equation so that we can figure out the center and the radius of the circle. So to do that essentially we need to complete the square and remember the process of completing the square we want to think about what a perfect square binomial looks like. So something like x plus a squared if we were to multiply this out, so we'd rewrite it as x plus a times x plus a, and when we distribute, we get x squared plus ax plus ax, which is plus 2ax, and then a times a is a squared. So essentially, when completing the square, we will group the x terms together. So let's go over here. And when we group the x terms together, we'll have x squared plus 18x, and we'll group the y terms together. So the y squared and the 14y, and we can just put the constant term on the other side. So we can subtract 105 on each side. So we'd have plus y squared plus 14y is minus 105. And so the main idea of completing the square is that we're starting essentially with this, we have an x squared and an x term, an x to the first power term multiplied by some coefficient. And we want to take this and transform it back to some perfect square. So we have these first two terms. So if we can figure out what to add, then we can transform it back to this. And we can just compare it to this formula by looking at the coefficient on x. So essentially the coefficient on x, or this will apply for y as well, the coefficient on x is twice a, where a squared is the value we will have to add each side of the equation. So 
if 18 is twice a, then a is 9. And so we have to add a squared or 9 times 9. If we add 81 here to both sides of the equation, we can transform this to some perfect square. So let me just write that down. In this case, twice a is 18, which means a is 9, which means the number we have to add to each side is a squared, which is 81. And likewise, when we do this for y, this right here is our twice a value. So these are separate. I'm using a in both cases. Maybe we can call this a sub 1. And this is a sub 2, just to make sure we're not confusing them. And twice a sub 2 in this case is 14, which means that a sub 2 is 7. And if we square this, the number we have to add to both sides, 7 times 7, would be 49. So if we add 81 to each side, and we add 81 here, and we add 49 to each side, adding 49 with the y terms, and once we do that, we can transform these to perfect squares. So let me rewrite that out down here with the those numbers actually added to it. So we'd have x squared plus 18x plus 81. And now this can be transformed into a perfect square. In fact, it will just be x plus 9 squared. It will always be half this number on the inside of the parentheses. So since this is 18, that means 9 goes on the inside of the parentheses. And you can test this by just multiplying that out, x plus 9 multiplied by x plus 9, and you'll see that it does equal this quadratic expression here. And likewise, for the y terms, we take y squared plus 14y, and we're going to add 49 to this. And by doing so, this quadratic expression in orange now simplifies to y plus half of this number, so 7 in this case, squared. And again, if you multiply this out, you will get y squared plus 14y plus 49. Now, we also added... 81 and 49 to this minus 105. So minus 105 plus 81 plus 49. So we'll have to simplify that. So our final version of this equation, let's rewrite it here in yellow. This will be x plus 9 squared plus y plus 7 squared is equal to, well, if you add 81 and 49, that makes 130. And subtracting 105 from that gives us 25. So from this equation, this is the standard equation of the circle, we can now figure out the center and the radius. Since the x value of the center is the x value that makes this expression equal to 0. So in that case, it would be negative 9. And the y value of the center is the y value that makes this expression equal to 0. So minus 7. So minus 9 minus 7 is the center coordinate of this circle. And the radius, remember our equation, the standard equation for a circle, is equal to the radius squared. So the radius squared is 25, which means that the radius is the square root of this, which, of course, is 5. So this circle has a center of minus 9 minus 7, and its radius is 5 units.